I've always wanted to play sevens. Uh, I met Titch probably about five years ago, four years ago, and uh, we had a good chat um, just about trying sevens one day. He said that I'd, he thought that I'd be able to make the transition. So um, obviously, when the Olympics come about, um, I, I was always, if I, had, if I had the opportunity, I was always going to chuck my hat in the ring. It was a little bit scary. I was pretty nervous just because I knew how um, taxing it was on, on the old lungs. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a type of individual that learns through actions. Um, so I needed to play and train and, you know, just being able to come into an environment where there's players, world-class players there to learn from. Um, and then just having that mentality of head down, ass up, work hard. Um, I think um, it's got me, it's, got, it's, it's um, helped the transition. First tournament was in uh, Wellington, New Zealand. Um, I only trained for a couple of weeks and uh, literally um, had a had a warm-up game. I think it was two days prior to the tournament, <laughs> and um, yeah, uh, just chucked straight in there. And I enjoyed it. You know, it was tough. Uh, I was all over the place, but you know, just playing the game and then kind of understanding where I needed to be, not over chasing. Uh, and then, you know, obviously you're still working hard in the background, training wise, trying to get fitter and fitter, but nothing beats that game fitness, matching the fitness up. I'm a hard mark on myself, but I'm really pleased with where I'm at at this stage. And I think the biggest mark, uh, biggest, um, I guess, biggest thing that I have to go on is how my peers, um, if they're respecting me or not, or obviously if the coaches, and, you know, he said that, uh, you know, he thinks I'm, I'm further than where he thought I would be, so that's obviously pleasing hearing that from the coach, but in saying that, I know I've got a lot of hard work to do. So, you know, I'm 30 now. Uh, I've only got a, a, you know, I think I've only got, hopefully, um, a few more years. Uh, but I just want to try and be the best, you know, I can be. Um, but also, not put myself in front of the team, if that makes sense. Like, you know, be a good team man as well and uh, be known for that, you know, not what people, outside people's perception of. I remember a bloke named, um, I don't know if you guys know him, but uh, Irony Clark. Well, when I was seven, um, I wasn't even playing footy back then. He came to my school, Oraka Primary in Auckland, and uh, he was such a good dude. And his photos, and here we are, look at him. You know, this guy's famous, you know, so we took, and I, I've always remembered it. So, um, you know, when I, when I see a young fella uh, and he's pretty excited to see me, um, I always think I can, you know, make that guy, that kid's day, and hopefully he'll remember it for a long time. So like I did with you and Club. From an individual point of view, I just want to do my best and be the best I can be, uh, and and I just want to know that, you know, even if I don't make that squad at the end of the day, I, I know that I've given it my all. Keep it simple, make sacrifices, train hard, work hard, try and learn, have no ego, you know. Because there's young guys, 21, 22, 18, that have played, have a lot more experience than me, and I'm learning off those guys as well, you know. So no ego, leave that that crap at the door, and just train hard. Well, I've willing to stay injury free as well, so uh, time will tell, I guess.